Hi. Now in this next part C, we're given that a mosquito survives for three days. Find the probability that it will survive for at least five more days. So as usual, if you'd like to give this a try, I'll give you a moment just to pause the video, come back when I'm ready and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So what we've got to do then is we know this mosquito has survived for three days and if we're to find the probability that it will survive for at least five more days then we're looking for the probability that it must survive more than eight days the result of adding five more days onto the three days it survives more than eight days given that we know that it survives for three days and our random variable t represents the number of days the mosquito survives after hatching. So what we're looking at then is the probability that it survives for more than eight days, given that we know that it survived for more than three days. So we've got a conditional probability on our hands here. And we should be familiar with how we go about solving conditional probability questions. Just as a brief reminder, you should be aware that the probability of one event, say, given another event, let's say B, is equal to the probability of A and B, okay, happening, divided by the probability of the given event, in this case, B. So this is a formula, as I say, that you should be familiar with. But we've got to interpret it, adapt it for our question that we've got here. So we're looking for the probability that both events can happen. Now if you if the mosquito survives for more than eight days and survives for more than three days, both events here have got to happen, well then clearly it's got to survive for more than eight days in this particular type of example. If it survives for just say more than three days, say four days, it wouldn't have survived for more than eight days. But if it survives for more than eight days, it will have survived for more than three days. So both events will be true. Hope that, hope that you can follow that, okay? So that's the same as the probability that t is greater than eight. That will satisfy both these conditions, if you like, a and b, okay? And then we divide this by the probability of the given event. In this case, the given event is the probability then that t is greater than three. Now to work out the probability that t is greater than 8 is just simply going to be substituting 8 into here. So that's going to be 225 over 8 plus 15 and that is all squared. And then we divide this by the probability of t being greater than 3. And so we just need to substitute 3 in there. So we've got 225 all over 3 plus 15 and that is squared okay and if you work this out what you should find you get is 324 over 529 and you might like to leave it like that but if you want to change it to a decimal then it turns out to be 0 0.6124 and so on and you could give that to say three significant figures and if you do that will be 0 0.612 to 3 SF, three significant figures. Okay, 